Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on March 27th. And I am here with Ms. Fowl, who is our elementary science coordinator, and is about to tell us about a very exciting project of our fifth graders, which is the NISA Virtual Science Fair. NISA Virtual Science Fair is a virtual uh, science fair run with competing with other schools around this region, the NISA region. And we have 49 teams 154 students that participate in this project. It's huge. So for each of these 49 teams, we have to narrow down after nine weeks of hard work, students have experimented, they've found out which question, which uh, science field interests them the most, and they pose a question, and then they go through the science process of researching, testing the variables, collecting the data, presenting a conclusion, may or may not have matched their hypothesis uh, prediction, and then present it to the community, the uh, broader school and parent community, um, and that then that is judged by our, our, some of our teachers, uh, and they then are no narrowed down to the regional, f uh, six regional foot qualifiers. And is that the, um, when it's narrowed down to the six, is that the virtual aspect of it? Yeah, so now the six, uh, teams, they will now compete against other teams answering another set of four facilitator questions and um, yeah, it's an incredible journey for the students to demonstrate their science understanding and their application of skills. So not only does every fifth grader have an opportunity to do this, participate on a team, but six teams will go forward and I heard this year University of Wisconsin um, professors are actually judging the virtual aspect. That's right, and along the way, the, part of the E component is that the students have a mentor from the University of Wisconsin, Wisconsin that supports them while they're studying or uh, researching and experimenting. Fabulous. Well, let's hear from the students. Wonderful. What they learned and what the challenges were. And we have one of our regional qualifying teams here, and their question was, does pollution affect crystal growth? And for the members of the team, Hi, I'm Molly Dodd. I'm Anna Hamoudi. And I'm Lutfi Jalwood. Well, as we think about does pollution affect crystal growth, what did you find to be the most challenging aspect of this project? What would you do differently? Well, as a team, I think we would all agree that maybe patience was the hardest part of our experiment because we did have to do a lot of waiting and our stress level did go up, but then as a team we got to know each other better and we got we worked better better. Uh, good. So what we know is that collaboration is an important part just as learning the scientific process. Absolutely. Thank you. And here we have another one of our region, regional qualifying teams with the with the question, does the type of wheel affect the speed of an RC car? And we have Athos Kranish, Sebastian Marquez. Raza Gilani. And as you think about your project, what was challenging about it? As you reflect, what would you do differently? Well, I think it was mostly us getting all our work fit into like a limited amount of time because we had lots to do. Um, for our testing, we had a restricted amount of time. And at first, we couldn't think we could finish it, but in the end. Yeah, we got it done. Okay. And this year the testing was done at school, correct? Whereas in the past it's been done at home. So the idea of doing it at school, why did you make that change? It was well, it was a decision to um, to bring back the, the the learning here, so we could actually watch the students as they're working and 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 observe them as scientists in action and. It was uh, wonderful to see their organisation and the management of the times and some of those challenges that um, in the past we weren't able to perhaps assist with. Great. Okay, thank you. And another regional qualifier was uh, with an experimental question, does the type of light bulb affect how much energy it wastes? Very important issue these days. And here we have... Ratmail Ansari and Titi Akinade. All right. And what did you find and what was challenging? Um, in our experiment, towards the beginning, we our, our question was, does the type of light bulb affect how much energy it uses? But later on, we had some difficulty trying to measure that experiment, so we had to change it to, to does the type of light bulb affect how much energy it wastes? And this was really difficult, because, and this also got very stressful, because, because of the new question, we had to use 
we had to change a lot of the things our uh, things in our experiment that we did. Okay. And um, and I have to know, um, does the type of light bulb affect how much energy it weighs? Yes, it does. And and what what were your findings? Um, we found that a plain light bulb versus a frosted light bulb wasted more heat energy. Oh, okay. So that's good for all of us to know. Absolutely. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. We're obviously very proud of these students, and each one of them is a scientist. So um, as you reflect upon this experience and you think about how to sum it up, I know I would probably sum it up as fantastic, but as you reflect, what might be one word that you would use in thinking about this learning experience? I think the science fair was very interesting. Interesting, good. I think it, the science, well, kind of like what she says, I think it was part pretty much exciting and also you can make like new people and new friends. I think the science fair was fun. It it gave us a chance to get closer um, as a group. It was spectacular because it was like <laughs> all different things that we had to do. I think it was amazing because we really had fun doing this. Yeah, I agree with Diego. <laughs> it was quite fun and like amazing because we got to know more people that we not we don't normally hang out with. So yeah, I would say challenging as a group and with the projects. I'd say it was probably um, kind of difficult but interesting because in my old school we didn't really have anything like this. We did the project by ourselves, so it was really cool to work as a group. I think the science fair was cool. Right. And you can't get much better than that, right? Having our fifth graders say, amazing, interesting, challenging, spectacular, awesome, cool. That's great. Thank you very much. And that's Sahipa this week.